everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Konami is being accused of helping um, Niji Sanji. Well, I think that's what they're being accused of, being accused of announcing a campaign in which viewers of Niji Koshian will receive a gem for Pawapuro. Needless to say, it's transparent. The aim is to water down the CCV, basically to make the CCV higher. This isn't anything illegal. I don't think so. But um, incidentally, there are suspicions that this measure violates YouTube's terms of conditions. I think it might be in terms of conditions in relation to um, uh, sweepstakes or something like that. Uh, have Japanese companies deteriorated to the point where they're willing to violate YouTube's terms and conditions. I think it's something like you, you can't make a prize um, only be able to be gotten from, you know, watching a video or from um, being a subscriber, that type of thing. YouTube has very serious rules when it comes to uh, that type of stuff. Forgive me for my ignorance, but isn't it just like the Twitch drops or sponsors wherein Twitch streamers playing certain games and viewers watching a certain length of time gain in-game currency or items or reward? I don't know if YouTube set up for the same concept, but I don't think it's necessarily shady. If I'm wrong, though, I can delete the comment. You're correct. It is very much a standard for sponsored events to have some form of viewership incentives by a sponsoring company. Okay, so it's normal. Nothing shady going on here. I don't mind being corrected. If there's nothing shady, then there's nothing shady. I feel it's shady. I feel it's shady. But if I feel it's shady and there's actually nothing shady, then I'm wrong. As for YouTube's drop setup, it exists, but it rarely used. Back when Overwatch League was streaming on YouTube, you could earn in-game currency by watching the streams. It was buggy as heck, though. So by your logic, Hoyoverse does this too when they reveal the new version updates on YouTube, Twitch, since they give an incentive in the form of game to game currency. This is normal. It's called promoting your game or product to whom you have sponsored event with. Have you ever heard of sponsored video stream? Uh, suspicious that. I hate how you use a third person. At least own up to your own claims when you make stuff up. How would that work to get code for JP? They probably would get a code. Um, I think what this ends up being is... A, a term that I'm going to phrase here, Niji Sanji derangement syndrome. There is a certain point when people uh, get a little too hate ratey on um, or Haiti on the uh, on a company, on an organization where they see where they're going to see fire where there isn't even smoke. And this is a thing that I'm seeing here. And like I said, when I'm wrong, I get corrected and I'm fine being corrected. Same as weaving serial codes into streaming, no different than what is done in other games. Not the first time this has happened every year. Niji Sanji Koshien has collaborated with the app. We have collaborated with the app on various contents, including predictions for the winners. The director of Niji Sanji Koshien winning team will officially collaborate on Paopuro Games. So that's something that they've done before. So it is not anything huge. It is not anything crazy like I first thought. It is just its own whatever. You know, it is its own thing. Uh, I mean, looking at it, it seems to be in direct conflict with the permissions and restrictions within the Your Use of Service uh, category and the six point raised under permissions and restrictions. Six cause or encourage any inaccurate uh, measurements of genuine user engagement with the service, including by paying people to providing them with incentives to increase videos, views, likes, or dislikes, or increase the channel's uh, subscribers. So it is up to interpretation. But a lot of people, a lot of people think it's just like Twitch. When Twitch has drops, you watch a stream then you get drops for the game. Um, YouTube doesn't have that incentive anywhere, as far as I can tell, or it's very rarely used and it's very buggy, as I was mentioned before. But Twitch has that in drops and Twitch has that in channel points. You just watch a channel, you get channel points and then you can do crazy things. So if you are someone who streams on Twitch, this is pretty normal. If you're someone who streams on YouTube, it's not as normal out there, and which is why people can see it as a kind of a strange thing or kind of something to look at. I covered this several days ago when I first heard about it. Um, the person who originally did it is this account here. I originally mentioned it. It was on August 6th. I covered it that, that same day. It was Taiga not feeling too great. Taiga feeling like they, um, don't want to live anymore. They don't want to exist anymore. They don't want to uh, wake up anymore. That type of thing. So they were going through that type of situation. And, um, from what I've heard, from what I have heard in, you know, the circles that I've been around, there isn't any negative updates on this in the sense that the updates that are around are that uh, they are doing better. They are because of all the, you know, people that supported them, myself and others included. They are um, they are absolutely feeling much better. They're, they're loving the support that they're having. They're loving the uh, everything that's been going on, you know, with, with people actually uh, talking about them, people actually um, 
going through and like myself making actual videos on them they are super happy to have that support they're super happy to have everything that's going on but um still they are deplatformed they are still not getting anything from youtube not getting anything from anybody and that is very hard for anybody so this is the update that i wanted to give you guys justice for taiga has a um google doc out about the situation where they said a document made by someone who specializes in situations that Tiger has been falsely accused of it breaks down all the allegations made in the original document that was circulated around the tarnished Tiger's re reputation it's briefly mentioned royalty is here video on Tiger, but it needs its own post this was made two years ago it was publicly retweeted by Tiger himself so this is the the actual uh, document that's posted out there it was, please share it around. If you're trying to get in touch with content creators, show them this to help them back Taiga's innocence. Basically, remember, Taiga was accused of being a PDF. And uh, if you know what that means, then you know what it means. This goes through, this whole thing goes through the expose, the documented question, the, the, the things behind it, the fact that all this was, was just accusations. Um, this is just a joke. DM is where uh, Taiga is speaking to someone who's uncovered as a minor. Um, a minor uncovered a minor posting lewds in their Discord channel. Taiga asks for these lewds, and when the user states they're 17 years old, response Taiga says, FFS, who cares? I was able to ask Taiga about this directly. He claims is a horrible joke. He knows what's wrong and very deeply regrets. And he made this joke because he was an immature 19 year old. From all mentions of it, he seems generally regret this. Not only the fact that he said it, but got caught and got caught, but understanding why a joke like that is not okay and how minors are frequently harmed in a very real way. So he understood the joke that he made. And yes, a lot of people are edgy 19 year olds. They do do this. So this was the big thing. The dark humor that he had was the big thing that got him canceled. People said he was a PDF. People said he was trying to go after minors. People said this and this and that. You can be edgy and not actually be going after minors. This person says they found clear evidence that the dock against Bungo Taiga was created by individuals, including an IRL stalker whose only interest was hurting Taiga. Basically, they weren't able to get to him. They weren't able to talk to him directly. They weren't able to get their Oshi feeling, you know, like feeling them and that kind of stuff. So they decided to make a document to destroy them. Content is privately commissioned. You will have to make your own judgment on the morality of, but direct abuse, it is not. The stalker's behavior towards Taiga, however, is unquestionably abuse and stalking and has flown completely under the radar. In regards to him, Taiga is not actually the abuser, but the abused in this case. He acknowledges, uh, understands his mistakes and uh, seems to actively be looking for more ways to ensure the server members are safe. So that's what's important. He actually wants safety for his server members. He wants safety for everybody involved. Of course, justice for Taiga because he has been wrongfully accused of things because of bad jokes. I understand bad jokes are not uh, excusable. They're inexcusable in many ways. And he has understood that himself. So, you know, give him a chance. He's not actually, you know, actually trying to hurt anybody from what I can see. At the Shy Lily stuff and the, um, the Taiga stuff, of course, we have the person who said that they were going to be uh, uh, talking and sending mass reports to uh, YouTube in regards to Shai Lily, Kofife, uh, Skuchan, Lion Chu, and since they already said that they deplatformed Taiga, all that kind of stuff. Please put it into context next time. Thank you. It's sad that this is happening. Parasocial fans just need to get an effing life. Context Bungo Taiga is being harassed and deranged by a deranged stalker, and they platformed him from YouTube and Twitter. The same guy who did platform Shy Lady's Clipper, Pierre, that has gotten worse back than back in the day, thanks to Nux never fact check your sources, Taku, when he gullibly ate up the false info and spread it in front of millions of people while the video is most critical. So Nux is one of the bigger offenders, according to the internet right now, with what is going on with uh, Taiga, with deplatforming, since he just put out the stuff from that uh, debunked Google Doc, that Google Doc that was found to have a lot of false information. And being a larger creator, you do have a certain amount of responsibility. And um, even he said he didn't check his sources. But still, if you don't check your sources, then uh, why are you putting it out there? Especially when you're so big. When you're so big, uh, you should check your sources a little bit more. I try to check my sources and I'm a tiny VTuber. Tiny in comparison to, to Nux, in comparison to False, in comparison to Kyo, and other bigger VTubers. And I still try to check my sources whenever I can. And I still let you guys know, this is what this person is thinking. It may not be true. Take a look. Admin approved this kind of thread, not even related to Kurosanji, not directly related to it. The person in general menace to many VTubers and, you know, it's a, it's a menace to the VTuber community, which is something that this or this uh, Kurosanji uh, subreddit does 
actually push for the whole community and push to try to make everything better. Uh, it doesn't state that you have to be all Kurosanji and Nijisanji. They have put a loud um, post about, you know, Vishojo, about Hololive, about other organizations. So nothing wrong there. This isn't true, by the way. The person admitted it's not true. It's more of a meme. So we're going to treat it as a meme. So meme culture, here we go. It's hard to know what's going on in the world, but it would be, this person would love it if Jaden Animations actually said, told Nux to F off because Nux was reacting to one of their videos. Because Nux is hated and blah, 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 they want to meme on the dude and not um, actually, you know, put anything out there. Uh, this person says, of course, it's not very, it's not true. I got tricked by it before, but I'm treating it as a meme now because now I know it's pretty much a meme. So yeah, um, basically this that's the whole thing that, you know, everyone hates Nux, even Jaden, who doesn't hate hardly anybody, would be hating Nux. That's the meme going on. At least I think that's the way it said. Is is indefinitely going on hiatus, indefinite hiatus graduation. Uh, final stream set for August 31st. So here we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, every buggy. Bug has had four long and amazing years with every buggy, and I want to cherish forever and never forget. Unfortunately, it is with a heavy heart that I announced that I'm graduating of Bug Bug. I will be ending all streaming and VTuber activities August 31st of 2024. As many of you know, my life has become increasingly busy as of late with no sign of slowing down, and I have been pondering this decision for quite a while. I'll be moving to new paths uh, and opportunities within my life at the end of August. All accounts will remain public and active only, as, only for art, animation, and commission purposes. I hope to still post art when I can and continue commissions and random shit posting, but all VTuber activities will cease. I have loved every second I have spent with every buggy who has supported me through this journey, through thick and thin. Thank you for everything. Let's celebrate Bug Bug's last birthday, okay? Remember to always be nice to bugs and spiral into your own scientific interest because being a nerd is cool. I hope to meet you again someday. And this is uh, from this community post. This is the individual in, in mention, Bug Bug, 30.8K uh, subscribers. So they are not like a tiny VTuber. They're more a medium sized VTuber. They've been doing a lot of stuff. This is their announcement stream that they're going to have uh, today at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. They're, you know, showing 2D VTubers, how to make a 2D VTuber. They're doing a lot of the popular stuff ends up being um, art stuff. So they're putting a lot of art and educational type things, gaming, etc. Uh, enjoy them for the time that you guys have, you guys have left with them. Uh, always, you know, be the best you can be and be the best you can be for others. Going to be reincarnation. Maybe. Who knows? Mention new paths and opportunities. Ends with I hope to see you again someday. If she doesn't reincarnate. I'll eat my hat. It's been about 11 hours since she posted on channel, but no post here. So I just want to let everyone know she had some of the most entertaining and fun edutainment shorts on YouTube. Good luck in your future endeavors. I feel like it was pretty recent that she just had a new model two weeks ago. I don't think I can take another graduation this week. I mean, those Vishojo auditions just closed, but they'd be able to keep their models in Vishojo. Really hope to meet her again in the new form. See you in phase. Uh, she has a great model, that kind of stuff. It is interesting to see these things happen. You know what I mean? But um, wish the best for them. Absolutely always wish the best for them. Thank you for coming back to the VTuber Showcase. This is a showcase for Chloe Croc VTuber. This is a place where I try to showcase small, upcoming, medium-sized, whatever, of VTubers who I think you guys will enjoy and who I think is are very cute in many situations. This is my way of giving back to the community. The community has given so much to me, I want to give something back. We have Chloe Croc the VTuber, Slimy Crocodile Chloe ready to chomp. The Croc Doodles of is her uh, art tag. It is just starting out, as you see, it's, it's uh, 52 followers, including myself, because why not? Um, here we go. It says uh, Five Nights at Chloe's doing the, the freaking everything. They're so very happy that they've gotten 50. This other cute little meme. So basically, I'm very small. Exactly. It's a very small croc. Uh, let's take a look at their Twitch. And specifically, this right here. <laughs> oh, shit. Seems to just discharge some kind of electricity. The moon laser. The moon laser. <laughs> he grew, he's gonna steal it. <laughs> RGB moon. Bro, RGB moon before GTA 6 is insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. These kind of things are fun. I mean, it's like, I, they, they have a lot of positivity. It seems like they are getting pretty popular when it comes to their views. For the size of the channel, they're getting a really good amount of views. And I'm glad to see that. I always love seeing that. Now let's see a little bit more in the about section. They have uh, a saltwater crocodile from Australia. Welcome to my channel. Things are a little bit work in progress around here. So don't mind the scuff. I hope you enjoy your stay. And this is what I like doing. 
the ones that are popping up here, the ones that are just popping in and, you know, doing their whatever they can to make their name out there is are the people that I want to support. This is why I'm going to be supporting Chloe Croc. That's why I'm going to be supporting all the people that I have mentioned in my showcases. And you guys uh, just you can take a look and see which one of them you enjoy. Uh, this is Chloe Croc once again. Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Hope that this helps you in your journey. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.